So let's look a little bit at, and, and the Kotlin documentation for comparable is very brief, which is cool, kind of cool. Um, but let's look at it just together for a minute, right? So this is the Kotlin documentation for comparable. There is um, Java documentation as well. Maybe we'll look at that in a second because it's quite a bit more extensive. So um, the interface comparable um, provides a, a single method, right? Uh, and I think these are extension functions. Okay, we're not going to talk about those. So there's a single function here called compare to. So first of all, you'll notice that it says classes which inherit from this interface or which implement this interface have a defined total ordering between their instances. So what does this mean, right? It means that I can put them in order, right? A defined, sorry, scroll outside. Uh, a defined total ordering means that um, there is some well-established way of putting things in order. Now, there may be a well-established way of putting things in order. There may be several ways of putting things in order, but that might mean that if there are several ways, one of them is not well-established. But the things that implement comparable are typically things where there's broad agreement about what order they should go in, like numbers, for example, lowest, the highest, right? There's not like some people that disagree and like, oh, and you should put all the even numbers first and then all the odd numbers. We agree on that. Um, strings, typically there's agreement about lexicographic order. This is what dictionaries use. Now, it might vary from, you know, alphabet to alphabet, but there's some agreement, you know, and this is how dictionaries work, right? Because if every dictionary had words in a different order, they'd be very hard to use because you would never know where to find anything, right? So there is a convention there at work. Um, so anything where there's a the well-established total order between the items can implement this class. And to do this, you implement this method called compare to. So compare to says it compares this object with the past object for order. And the return value can indicate three things. So if it returns zero, they're the same. They belong in this. And that doesn't mean they're equal, but it should uh, sort of imply something about maybe equality. Right. Actually, what did I just say? No, it doesn't mean that they're equal. It just means they belong in the same spot in the order. You can't distinguish them uh, from each other in terms of order. Um, I actually think in the Java documentation, there is a little bit of note about equal. So we'll go look at that in a second. Um, and then there's a number that determines whether or not which one goes in front of the other. Right. And so essentially um, a negative number if this object is less than other. Right. And a positive number if it's greater than other. Um, so let's look up the Java bowl, the Java bowl, the Java comparable documentation. Here we go. Um, holy gosh. Okay. I gotta make this bigger and there are lots and lots of classes that implement this. Um, so very similar. It says the interface imposes a total ordering on the objects that each class that implement it. Um, the ordering is referred to as the nat class's natural ordering, right? So again, there's, there's a notion here of naturalness, right? Like this should not be a surprise, right? If the order is a surprise, then it's possible that you should not implement this interface. Um, and so you'll, you'll see here that there is a note about the relationship with equals. So the ordering for classes is, is said to be consistent with equals. If the two, if, if the comparison returns zero, then equals is also true. Um, and now it says it is strongly recommended, though not required, that natural orderings be consistent with equals. So the idea is that the only time that compared to would return zero is if equals is also true. So essentially the, the two objects are equivalent from their perspective. Um, so this is uh, compared to. It turns out comparable is one of these interfaces that we talk about because it's awesome, right? Because there's actually quite a bit of power that we get. And we're going to continue to use this, you know, at various points later. Um, we get all of this uh, capability out of this one interface. And you'd be surprised at how powerful it is, just the ability to put items into some sort of natural order and to be able to compare them to each other.